Hello again there EDF friends. In this video I wanted to talk briefly about the Monster Sniper Rifle and something I, interesting I learned about it recently in EDF 5. Um, as far as the Monster Sniper Rifle in EDF 4, uh, the stats actually said it was lower than the damage it actually did. For example, the best one, level 55, said it only did 6,000 damage. However, it used 39% 39, 39 energy to fire that 6,000 damage. So say you had 80% um, energy in your energy tank, well then it would fire two beams, which was 12,000, and if you had full energy, or close to it, it would fire three beams, which was 18,000. So it's a very strong sniper rifle, even though the stats didn't indicate it. Um, this time around, this, the monster's uh, sniper rifles are different. They don't fire uh, three beams or one beam. They fire just like a, a straight line laser that actually shoots through enemies, uh, actually penetrates your enemies, which is a positive. Um, but every time I used the uh, monster sniper rifle in this game, it just didn't feel very strong. Like, for example, this monster GZ, which is the best one, uh, is the stats say that it does 351.2 damage times 63 magazine. That's not maxed out, but that's what I have. Um, so that, that equals to about 22,000 damage. Um, and then the monster GA, level 55, is supposed to do about 16,400 damage. But like I said, every time I did it, it never felt very strong online. So I, I decided to test it here. So let me go ahead and uh, take a mission here and test it on myself on Inferno. And uh, it turns out that I've learned that the, the monster sniper rifle is actually the same trait as the laser. Uh, the, the laser that she has this time around, which if you saw my video on that, it starts out strong and then it becomes weaker. So... Um, Let's see, I have the wrong controller, of course. Let's see, let's use this one. Um, so this is the Monster GZ, the, the best one. This thing is supposed to do 22,000. Uh, mine's supposed to do 22,100 damage. So let me go ahead and fire this at myself. And as you'll see, it does about 9,000. Let me go ahead and restart that, because I it pushes you back. So sometimes it's hard to actually get the full shot on yourself, but I tested this on vehicles and I tested this on myself the whole time and I was getting the same numbers every time. And what I was getting was, I was getting for the Monster GZ, I was getting 9,028 damage instead of the 22,000. And then for the other one, the Monster GA, which is supposed to be 16,000, I was getting 6,688 every time. Um, of course, I don't have enough health to, to sustain that. <laughs> so let's restart here. Uh, this is the Monster GA, yeah. And this one does 6,688 instead of the 16,000. Um, I also tested the original Monster, which is supposed to do 3,700, and it only does 1,500. And the Monster Zero as well, same thing. It's supposed to do 3,800, and it only does 1,400-ish. So it turns out, when I, when I did the percentages, it turns out it's always a 59% decrease from what the stats actually say. So... What, what that is, is it's saying is actually it starts out like the normal damage like it's supposed to be and then it's, it's slowly, as you can see the beam, it gets thinner and thinner and it gets weaker and weaker. So, unfortunately, the monster sniper rifles aren't as good as the uh, stats say and that is unfortunate. Um, now, as far as is that a bad thing, um, I would say it's not a worthless weapon even though I found this out uh, because like, oh, uh, say for example this one, the Monster GZ. Actually, let's take the uh, the other one, because mine's not maxed out on energy-wise on this one. It says 555, so that's not maxed out. It's actually kind of high than what it's supposed to be. The Monster GA. Uh, this thing is only 321 energy. So what you do is you get, you can, you can charge this up in less than a second. So um, you can do 6,688 damage with 321 energy, and it shoots through enemies. So... That's, you know, that's over 6,000 damage a second. So that's that's better than Ranger sniper rifles. Um, uh, Fencer's is stronger because he can dual wield, but at the same time, his are not as practical as easy to use. So the weapons, her monsters aren't worthless, but they're definitely not the great sniper rifle that um, the stats tend to indicate. Like this one does, over, you know, this one does 9,000 damage a second. That's, that's really good for a, uh, for a sniper rifle, and it's got good range. Of course, you're not going to be able to shoot that non-stop because of your energy core will run out, but um, it's still a, still a decent weapon. Like I said, now that it penetrates your enemies, it's also a lot better as well. So it's not a terrible weapon, but it's definitely not this amazing weapon. I, I tend to prefer now, for sure, the uh, the Gungnir. Um, 
the level 85, which does 100,000 damage, and the uh, level 36, which does 15,000 damage. I tend to like these a little bit better for snipers. The range isn't the greatest. It's 631 meters for both of them, but I like how you can charge them ahead of time and then do one large shot. Of course, it's not going to always be practical. It's usually for big targets, but uh, uh, it's... Her monsters are still better than her uh, laser snipers, unfortunately. They do like 1,800 damage a second, you know, which isn't very strong. So, just something interesting I thought I'd share with you, because I always wondered why the damage didn't feel very strong on their monsters, even though it's supposed to be doing 22,000 damage. So, uh, so yeah, just something I'd share with you. So, um, like I said, they're not worthless, but uh, they're definitely weaker. So, once again, just wanted to share it with you. So, thanks a lot for watching, and remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind, ever. Thanks.